Hello coaches, welcome back to another MSC Breakdown. This week we're going to take a look at some press and exercises. If you're looking at building up your pre-season sessions and you're looking at planning ahead and build your game model off an aggressive defensive system, then here are some ideas. If you enjoy the sessions, they are from our new ebook, which we've just released, 30 High Intensity Defensive Exercises. New ebook, you can get it on the link below get it right away. We've broken this one down into three areas, a warm-up exercise, a phase of play, and then an 11 v 11, trying to set conditions in all three of those games to get that aggressive pressing that you're looking to bring out with your team. Here we go. So the reason why I broke this into three different areas and trying to impact the warm-up is from a consistency standpoint. So quite recently we did an interview with Antonio Gagliardi, who worked with Andrea Pirlo at Juve, worked with Roberto Mancini, at the Italy 2020 European Championship winning team as an analyst and a coach. And he talked about counter pressing, but he talked about the consistency in getting that mentality right from a training standpoint and making sure that it goes almost from the first exercise onwards. Here is the clip. Yes, I think that the counter pressing is the, the most important, important tactical aspect to dominate a match. But uh, we have to train this tactical aspect in every session and almost every drill. I don't know well the American mindset about this aspect, but in my opinion, we have to insert the counter pressing from the start of training camp until the end. For example, I like to start the session with a rondo, but it's important to incorporate a rondo drill with the counter pressing. So even though this is pressing that we're looking at and not necessarily counter pressing, I think there's similarities and consistencies between the mentality that you're looking for with your team and your players on the training pitch. So the first thing we're going to look at is the warm up exercise. Again, these three exercises are available in the ebook, the new ebook, 30 high intensity training sessions. You can get the link below. And rather than just playing a rondo to get your team warmed up, maybe add a little bit to the rondo. So here's a way of doing that here 8 v 8, possession team in blue, defensive team in red, 25 by 25 yards square, split into four areas areas with a five yard square on the inside which is also split into four quarters mini goal located on the outsides the objective is for the possession team to circulate the ball around the square so every time they get the ball in all four areas they get a point they can play in any of the zones they can move the ball in any direction the defending team two players can go in each zone but they can only go when the ball's arriving there must be a minimum of two passes before the ball is transferred but if you want to raise the intensity levels, you can make that one pass and the players can maybe arrive a little earlier. So you can make this really competitive. You can make it really fast moving, really enjoyable and set the tone for the rest of the session. The second exercise is a game that you can play if you're looking at perfecting that press on one side of the pitch. So this time you're using 14 players, possession team of eight, including the goalkeeper, six defensive players. You're organizing them structurally on one side of the pitch. The objective is to challenge the defensive team in red to press and limit the possession team to one side of the pitch. So the mini goals are acting as outlet passes Play starts from the goalkeeper. Blue team are looking to build and play into the mini goals for one point. If the red team win possession, they can transition and score into the full-size goal immediately for two points. You can play a number of these games and then you can also rotate the players to get them experiences in the different positions as well. So sometimes when you're playing 11 v 11 and you're doing a press and session, it can be goalkeeper playing out to one of the center backs and it's the same trigger every time for the pressing team which makes it a little bit more predictable and easier for them to focus on however when you're playing an 11 v 11 game in reality the pressing triggers are different different times different stages so this game is a little bit of in between you have six starting spots two behind the goal one on each side of the goalkeeper for goal kicks then you have four located lower down the pitch where there would be throw-ins so those areas are all numbered one through six the coach calls out a number the possession team has say six seconds to restart the game which means the pressing team has six seconds to get themselves organized or reorganized and then they play the game so the better they are in doing this defensively the more solid they're going to be with their structure now, as a coach, you can then allow the 11 v 11 game to flow as much as you want. 
maybe you want to focus on a certain side of the press maybe you want to focus more on the goalkeeper this exercise allows you to do a little bit more of that there because you're in control of the restarts but then you also get the variability of an 11 v 11 game which is more likely to bring out randomness of the different press of moments this is a good exercise maybe if you're looking at focusing reorganizing and communicating as an 11 in relation to the ball so they have a coach's three exercises you could use these in a session if you enjoy them of course check out the ebook below i'm a big believer that having a bank of different defensive exercises allows you to maybe bring out different things on a different daily basis with units or maybe a side of the press or maybe it's just the mentality piece that antonio talked about at the start the ebook is designed to give you those ideas and hopefully you enjoy it thanks so much for watching please like and subscribe i will see you next week goodbye